Hey there YouTube, NinjaNick333. I know it's been way too long. Uh, I've been busy. <laughs> um, I broke down and bought the uh, Super Starter Power Box. Um, actually, some of my friends had gotten the uh, starter deck and uh, it was, it's actually the Utopia Ray V is actually really good. So here we go, opening it. Um, I actually like the idea of the power packs, um, because you get better stuff in them than you probably would if you were to just get, um, right, two regular packs inside it also. Um, okay, how do we get in this? Oh, there we go. That was surprisingly easy. Alright. So, first up, we have our... 50 Yu-Gi-Oh! or uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Talcos Yu-Gi sleeve things. Uh, nice for me to have extras of those. Uh, we've got one Order of Chaos pack, one Generation Force pack, and one Hidden Arsenal 5 pack. All of them first add two, by the way, which I was surprised at. Um, hopefully the cards aren't effed up in the sides because of the way they package this. So probably here to see the super starter anyway so most of the cards in here are actually new um they're not they're not the greatest but um there is there's is some really good stuff you can get in, in the power up packs and there goes the playmat okay just fell on the floor uh beginner's guide for all you beginners which is really good for teaching you the very basics on how to play. Now, let me go reach all the way over here. And you've got your play mat, which gives you a turn order, draw phase, standby phase, main phase one, battle phase, main phase two, end phase, and now it's your opponent's turn. And pretty basic and stuff. I actually like the design on it. It's pretty cool. And then, labeled Power Up Pack A and Power Up Pack B. A always has a number C39 Utopia Ray V. Power Up Pack B always has a limited variance force. So I don't know why they did that. I would have preferred it if they put those two cards in the deck and then had an extra spot for, um, you know, better cards <laughs> in the packs, but you know, Konami will do as they please. Uh, now I will zoom in so we can see this. So this is the deck. You get a number C39 Utopia A. Uh, another Utopia reprint because we all needed a Utopia reprint. I mean, it's so hard to get because you can only get it in Dual Terminal, the two other starter decks before this, um, Star Pack, Gold Series, and I think there was like four other prints besides that. So, really great we have a reprint. Super Rare is actually like the best way I've seen Utopia so far. Cosmo Crane, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! since before this came out in McDonald's as a secret rare. And uh, this is my first copy I've ever owned, so that's kind of cool. Terrence the Magic Swordsman, piece of crap. Neo the Magic Swordsman, been forever since I've seen a new version of him. Mystical Elf, Chamberlain of the Six Samurai. It's like they just threw random cards in here. Uh, Gaga Ga Child, he's really cool. Um, if you have a Gaga Ga, you can special summon him, and he copies that monster's uh, level. Um, Magical Undertaker, uh, when he's uh, he has a flip effect to special summon a level four or lower warrior uh, spellcaster type monster from your graveyard. Um, Cal Caligo Claw Crow. If you control a dark monster, you can special summon this. You can only use this effect once per turn. Then you've got a Gagaga -Ga Magician reprint. That's I really like Gagaga -Ga Magician reprints. Another uh, Gagaga -Ga Girl reprint, so it's finally a common, as it should have been in the first place. Gagaga uh, -Ga -Ga Gardner reprint, Zubaba Knight reprint, Ganbara Knight reprint, uh, Cha Cha Archer reprint, Goblinberg reprint, another Kagato Kage reprint. If you're playing the Utopia ZWOTK deck, which is probably what I'm going to build just for funsies. 
um, you kind of need him. So that's cool to be included in the deck. Uh, Tasuke Knight reprint. That's cool. ZW Unicorn Spear reprint. Only works on uh, C39 Utopia Ray standard. So that's that's the reason why that's the worst Zexal weapon. <laughs> Marauding Captain, Old Moon, Indicative Magician. Swords of Burning Light. Probably the worst version of Swords of Revealing Light yet. While you control no monsters, monsters your opponent controls cannot declare attacks. If you control a monster or if your opponent has five or more cards in their hand, destroy this card. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about it. Blustering Winds, that's cool. Wonder Wandery print, that's pretty awesome. Um, I think I only had like one of that before. Uh, Double or Nothing, obviously, because you're playing Utopia, so they're going to put that in there. Uh, Ego Boost... Lady Gaga's Revenge reprint, so that's cool, because I didn't pull a crap ton of that already. Uh, Xyz Unit, which is cool. A-Forces, that's an old, older card. Um, I don't even think I had a copy of it, so that was cool. Uh, Rota reprint, that's cool. Warrior Returning Alive reprint, that's cool. Uh, Puzzle Reborn, if your opponent destroys exactly one of your monsters, special summon it. It's like, okay, so I'm going to pop your monster with Dracosack. Nope, comes right back. Uh, Lady Gaga's Shield, Copy Knight, Impenetrable Attack, Utopian Aura, Xyz Effect, Shadow Spell reprints cool, Dust Tornado reprints cool, Call the Haunted reprints is cool, and Dark Bribe reprints cool. So actually, the um, some of the traps are actually really good. Just to be able to get like common stuff out there of these is really nice but that's uh that's all the deck so we'll start with a this is the one with uh i'm gonna call it right now c39 utopia ray v told you that's always the first card in this pack so i don't see the point of putting them in a pack if it's guaranteed but there we go utopia ray v uh he's awesome if you guys don't know what he does uh, three level five monsters. When this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card, either by battle or card effect, you can target an Xyz monster in your graveyard, return that target to the extra deck. So that's cool. Uh, if this card has a Utopia monster as an Xyz material, it gains this effect. Once per turn, you can detach an Xyz material from this card, then target one monster your opponent controls, destroy that monster. If you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's attack on the field. That's awesome. You can always do Utopia, uh, evolve it into Utopia Ray, then use Limited Variance Force to make him. So you have two Utopia materials. So you can, even if you detach Utopia, you can still use his effect again. So that's cool. And there goes that. Uh, Swords of Revealing Light Super. I think they have a, what's it? Magic Cylinder, MST, and something else I can't remember off the top of my head right now. It says it on the side of this. Mirror Force, super rares in here. Um, then they have the Utopia RV and Rank Up Magic uh, Limited Variants Force as Ultras. Then Common, ZW, Eagle Claw, Gambara, Lancer, Bite Bug, Crane Crane, which is a really awesome card. Gentle Mander, Granosaurus, number 30, Acegolem of Destruction, which didn't really need a reprint. Shining Elf, and number 6, Chronomaly, Atlantis. So, there's Swords of Revealing Light. Um, Acid Golem, Gentle Mander, and, oh, cool, Crank Crane. Uh, Gentle Mander, when your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. Your opponent cannot attack any monsters except this one. That's weird. Um, but Crane Crane, it's basically like a tour guide, but from the graveyard for any level 3. So you normal summon this, can't be used as a synchro material monster. Bring back a level 3 monster from your grave, overlay, Acid Golem. So, I mean, I like the way that these power-up packs work, because you can put them right into that deck, and I mean, it works. So, power-up pack B is going to have Rank Up Magic Limited Variance Horse as the first card. So, this one is a little different from the other one. Target one Rank 4 monster you control. Special Summon from... Uh, special summon from your extra deck one number C monster that is one rank higher than that monster you control by using it as the Xyz material. Then special summon, this, spe this special summon is treated as an Xyz summon. Xyz materials attached to that target also become Xyz materials on the summon monster. 
So again, Utopia, Utopia Ray, this to make it Utopia Ray B. So that's cool. Um, also, it says A rank 4 monster, then summon a number C monster on top of it. So you could have like Star Leech Paladynamo, or uh, Heroic Champion Excalibur, or Blade Armor Ninja, or whatever. Rank up magic at, into Utopia Ray V. That's the, I like this card better than the other rank up magic. Uh, there's Magic Cylinder. Uh, there's Chronomaly Atlantis. I like that he got a common reprint. That's cool. It could have been in something better like the Star Pack or whatnot. But uh, Bite Bug. I have no idea what this does. I uh, if your opponent controls a face up Xyz monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. When you do target one monster your opponent controls, that monster loses 300 attack. Well, that's cool. He's a uh, level three, so you can use him with the Crane Crane and and stuff. Make Acid Golem. So that works in the deck. And then another Crane Crane. So. I got one Crane Crane in my other starter deck, so I think I have a play set now. That's pretty cool, because you can only get it in this so far. So that's it for that, and then we've got the... So I'm just going to start with Order of Chaos, because it was on the top. Uh, let's hope for Secret Rares. Uh, Zen Magstrom, Full Force Strike, Insector Giggle Weevil, Galaxy Storm, Shrine of Mist Valley and Xyz Reflect Ultimate Rare. Wow. Like the worst ultimate rare in the whole set. It's still cool though, I got an ultimate. I didn't have it ultimate. Uh Divine Dragon Apocalypse, uh Splash Capture, and Sweet Horn. I mean, I think I had an ultra of this before that I just traded for some from somebody just because I could. Alright, uh Gen Force. Um I could go for a secret Adrius or Terrace, that would be fun. Alright, we've got Phantom Magician, Gergiano, Explosive Urchin, Gusto Co Codor, whatever, uh, Resonance Device, and pretty much nothing. Fly Fang, Damage Vex X, Wind Up Dog. Um, if you guys can't find, if you want to build like my Ojama deck that I have, and you can't get a hold of like the Ojama, if you can't get a hold of some of the older Ojama stuff, you can substitute Crash Bugs and it'll work almost as well. I did try that before, it was pretty funky. Because the uh, big Crash Bug guy works almost as uh, well. All right, so now we got the Hidden Arsenal. Our secret is the Gemini Topaz, that's a cool one. And then we've got uh, Steel Swarm Scout Infestation Wave, Gishki Shadow, and Gem Light Tourmaline. That's cool. And then all that's left is the pack of sleeves. But, um, you know, comment, rate, like, subscribe. Uh, more pack opening stuff in the future, probably. Um, I'll see you guys later.